Many times in the Bible, Jesus is likened to a good shepherd, which was a great image for the agrarian culture that he inhabited and lived. He was one who cared for his sheep, who would tend and gather us, who gently leads us and even carries us. John writes it this way, or Jesus says in the Gospel of John, I am the good shepherd. The good shepherd sacrifices his life for the sheep. A hired hand will run when he sees a wolf coming. He will abandon the sheep because they don't belong to him, and he isn't their shepherd. And so the wolf attacks them and scatters the flock. The hired hand runs away because he's working only for the money and doesn't really care about the sheep. I am the good shepherd. I know my sheep, and they know me. Christ knows us. Jesus knows you. You belong to God. You are His. You belong to Him. And He belongs to you. Do you really know that this Christmas season? In the middle of whatever confusion or stress or anxiety or difficulty, if you're feeling lost, not sure of who you are or where you are or what time it is, do you know the guiding hand of this shepherd? Can you feel it on your shoulder? Do you hear the gentle whisper of his spirit? Maybe you're in a time of attack and the wolves are out and it's dangerous and scary and fearful. People are hurling insults at you Others want to destroy you. The world seems to be coming down around you. Is he there protecting and keeping and sheltering you, laying down his life for you? Do you know that? It seems this last six months, just so much brokenness has come across my life through other people's lives kids cracking under the weight of tension in their families and brokenness, people wondering why loved ones who used to love them don't love them anymore, other people wondering where the love that they once felt for somebody went, the desperation and anxiety of that, people struggling with awful, terrible, in some cases, pain and difficulty, and others feeling a great sense of loneliness, fear, worry, doubt about this whole faith thing, about this whole life thing, and others remembering this time of year, tragic loss. I got a call yesterday from a pastor friend of mine, Pastor Phil from River Park Church, and just a short email, and he says, uh, yeah, I just heard that my nephew in Ontario got killed in a car accident today. And he says, we're a wreck, and my sister's a wreck, and her husband's a wreck, and the whole family is a wreck. You know, I read the email, I look up at my son studying for his exams, you know, on the couch opposite me in the living room. And I think that now every Christmas, every time of year, this time of year in December, this family, another family, has this horrible, horrible thing to remember. Where can we go when life hurts so bad? Shut sure.
Take his yoke upon you and learn of him, for he is meek and lowly of heart, and ye shall find rest for your souls.